Hi! Today I am joined by a very special guest, my friend Christine. Hi. Hi. I'm really excited you are to be here. <laughs> Christine over so that we could try Momofuku's line of instant ramen. I'm really excited to try it. They have three different flavors. So they have a spicy soy, a soy and scallion, and a tingly chili. So I was looking on their website. They had little descriptors for each of the flavors. Soy and scallion, which I think is their most popular one, is this one. It has like a black little sauce packet. The flavor says salty, sweet, and savory. Top it with sauteed bok choy, which I don't have, and a poached egg, which I don't know how to poach an egg, but that's why I asked you to bring eggs because I don't have any eggs I'm left. Adam. So we're gonna also try these with some eggs, some toppings, the spicy soy. The flavor is spicy and savory, and it says to top it with pickled vegetables, which I don't have, and chili crunch, which I do have, but I don't have the momofuku version. Uh, and then the tingly chili is savory, spicy, and tingly. It sounds like mala. Mm -hmm. Which I'm like, I don't know. I don't know that I like mala. We'll see. But uh, top it with sauteed mushrooms, which I don't have. None of the vegetables I have. And a fried egg, which is easy. So, so we'll really taste it for the flavoring. For the flavoring, not for the whole experience because I don't have any vegetables. But the water is boiling, so let's get all the noodles in and then get to trying it. And you grab the eggs. Yes. Okay. Break. We're back from cooking and we're going to try the noodles. So the one in front of me is the spicy soy, which we're gonna try alone and then with some crunchy garlic topping. And then we have the soy and scallion and then the tingly, tingly chili. Tingly chili. Tingly chili, which after smelling it does not smell like mala, so maybe I will like it. And also we got drinks. Yay! You wanna share your drink, Christine? I got, I am trying out Sanzo on the calamansi <laughs> flavor a sparkling water and it's very refreshing super fancy and i am bringing it back to my childhood with a sack sack grape that i poured out so i could get all the pulp out super classic but all right should we try it? do you want to go this way to this way to this way i don't know or just take a bite of each and see which one that we like okay let's do this one first so we can like try also try it with the crunchy garlic okay so we're gonna try the spicy soy first, which does not smell spicy at all. Right? It smells, just smells like soy sauce is the only ingredient. Yeah, it just smells like, after you. Okay. Guess first. Thank you. The noodles are interesting though, because they're really thin and they're wavy. And then the only difference was that the tingly chili had like thicker wavy noodles. I don't know how to feel about your reaction though. <laughs> I love the noodles. Mm. First off. Slight kick. Kind of bland, actually. It tastes exactly what it says. Spicy and soy. Yeah. There's like a tiny, but like a tiny spicy. kick. And it's just like the and tiniest kick. Yeah. Honestly, I'm like, it's not bad. But also, I'm not blown away. It's yeah. uh, The noodles are good, though. I like the noodles. Yeah, I'm going in for the noodles. Yeah, the bouncy, the consistency. The maybe, we need to add, maybe we need to add a little bit of this. Maybe it'll be better if we add some crunchy garlic on top. So... Okay, give it a try. Going in now with the crunchy garlic. The crunchy garlic makes everything better though, so I think it's just gonna mask this flavor. <laughs> Is that what happened? Yep, definitely better. <laughs> Tastes more flavorful now. Mm -hmm. Chili garlic makes everything better. Okay, quick pla palate cleanser. Okay, which one? Save this one for last. Oh, okay. Because I think this one is their most popular okay. flavor. Yeah, sounds good. So we're gonna try the tingly chili. Beautiful, thank you, our spokesmodel. <laughs> um, after you, All right. guess first. Do you want to break the egg? We're gonna break the egg. That's the best part. Breaking the egg is absolutely the best part. I do think the noodles look a lot thicker, so I hope they'll be even more like, yeah, what's the word? QQ, QQ like yeah. chewier. These are high quality noodles. The noodles are good. The noodles are good. The sauce. You go first on this one. Okay, okay. I just. Hmm. 
I will wait for your first bite for commentary. What do you think? Also pretty mild. A little spicier than the first. Yeah, it's a mild flavor. It's very mild. I also don't think it's like ma. I don't think it tastes it's not like really mala. mala. It is more spicy. It's like the similar type of spice, just one yeah. level up. I do still think the noodles are good though. The noodles are good. Yeah, the noodles are good. Okay, let's sideline this and then let's try the what is it called? Soy and scallion. Soy and scallion. <laughs> the soy and scallion is next. Spokesmodel, please. Oh, palate Cheers. cleanser, palate cleanser. Thank you. With the beautiful sunny side of egg. So lovely. Honestly, it doesn't smell that different from this one, the spicy soy. Maybe because they both have soy, but it doesn't smell that different. But let's see how it tastes after you guess right. first. And this one smells like it has more sesame oil in it. The struggle, oh my gosh, the struggle. Okay, thoughts? Also mild. <laughs> so mild. I think maybe it's because we're too used to eating like shin ramen, you know? Yep, yep. Like the super spicy, flavorful Korean ramen, yeah. like in the red package or even the black package. The black package yeah. is the elite packaging. Super flavorful. These are all really mild. Super mild. Very mild. Very. Like, I, I feel like there's potential for the flavor to be better if they mixed in a more of the key. But maybe they're marketing it as like healthier alternatives because it does feel like, <laughs> what's the saying? Like less artificial. Cause you know, like those like powder yeah, packets, yeah. you know, are like full, like they taste like MSG, you know? Yeah, Whereas true. these don't taste like that. But because of that, the flavor is like a lot more mild. Mm -hmm. So just depends what you like, but um, I might just stick to Shin Ramyun packets from now on, to be honest. But it, I'm glad that we got to try it. It yeah. was good. They're good. They're good. The noodles, though. The, the noodles. noodles. If I could get just the noodles as like dry noodle packets. And put your I, own sauce oh my God, in it. Yes. Oh my God. I, if I could put it in like Udejige or like, oh, oh my God. Put it in my so hot good. pot. Oh, so good. So. But if you had to choose. Which one? Which, which one, one of these? What's your favorite? Or that is most preferred? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Probably this one with the chili garlic. I think this one would be good with the chili garlic and an egg. I think this one would be the winner. But actually, maybe if we add chili garlic to all Everything, of them, it would be yeah. good. I don't know, what about you? That would have been my, the same answer with the chili garlic, but if we had to choose one without it, I think I would have to say this, this one. one. Just yeah. simply because it has more of a kick, and to me, I like spicy ramen, and so that- It has more flavor, right? To more flavor, yeah. Yeah, I think that we've come to a consensus, they're all right, you know? They're all right, they're not bad. But again, David Chang, if you ever watch this, which you're probably not going to, but Momofuku should come out with just the dry noodles, just like not as like a ramen thing, just the noodles by themselves. I would eat that <coughs> up. Thank you for joining us today. We're gonna finish this ramen because we are a no food waste household here. Thanks for watching and thank you, Christine, for thank joining you, Laura. Me. Um, But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.